to. My husband thinks you've come home to die. Really? Mm. I've just bought a pension. I can't die for at least 10 years or I'll be ruined. All is true is a family drama about what happened to Shakespeare in the last three years of his life when he retires, as it were, to Stratford. The Globe Theatre, the great centre of all his success, is burnt to the ground in 1613, and struck me that there would be a fascinating tale to tell of what could have occurred as a result of the trauma of that event. You've come back to mourn your, your, your blessed departed son. Suddenly you found the time to mourn him too. Will you hold your tongue? I thought the script absolutely fascinating, and I don't know that it's ever been tackled before about the death of his son, of Hamlet. We know that there were sexual scandals involving his daughters. We know how he made his will and what bequests were made, some of them curious, it might be said. So all of those family issues come home to roost in this story. All these years, Will, worried about your reputation. Have you even once considered mine? There's hardly anyone who is on a par with Judy in terms of her experience. She spent many seasons up at the Royal Shakespeare Company from very early on in her life, utterly unintimidated by the period and the people. They're real to her. Welcome to Stratford upon Avon, Your Grace. With Ian McKellen, of course, you have one of the greatest Shakespearean actors who has ever lived. He's a master, as is Judy. These are two magnificent Shakespeareans. Your talent has a greater scope than all the other poets combined. And yet you've lived the smallest life. I, I don't feel I've lived a small life, Your Grace. The curiosity of this is that the man sitting opposite you is William Shakespeare. That's alarming enough. But then is also the director. So you have to wipe from your mind the fact that that piercing gaze is giving you is partly assessing your performance. Do you want to be a writer? and speak to others and for others. Consider the contents of your own soul. Ken's more like Shakespeare than anyone I've ever seen playing Shakespeare. Uncannily like. So many people do enjoy Shakespeare, not just on stage, but on screen, and Branagh's done more than anyone else alive to help that uh, along. So I think if you've been intrigued by his uh, Hamlet or Henry V, then come and have a look at this. Just that moment in life when you have to face your mortality, your family, and your sense of who you are and what your life means or meant. Those things in the cauldron of his return, I think, feel unusual and surprising. <laughs>